Hi guys, good evening. This is Miss Mel. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. So today, we are going to talk about a ratio using either the colon or fraction. Ratio deals with comparison of two items. The trick with ratios is to always multiply or divide the numbers by the same value. After going through this lesson, you are expected to express ratio using either colon or fraction. Look at the illustration below. What can you say about the number of books and the number of pupils? In this case, we can say that there are four books for every eight pupils. We can also express this sentence using colon. We can write this as 4 is to 8 or 1 is to 2. So for every one book, there are two pupils. It can also be expressed in fraction as 4 is to 8 or simply 1 half. We can use the greatest common factor or GCF in simplifying the given ratios or fractions. Study the given table below. So we have ratios, terms, greatest common factor or GCF, divide the terms by their GCF, and values of the, of the ratio in lowest term. So, the ratio of 3 is to 6. Ang terms niya ay 3 and 6. Ang greatest common factor ay 3. So, i-divide natin yung terms by their GCF. So, 3 divided by 3 and 6 divided by 3. So, the answer would be 1 is to 2, which is yung lowest term. Next, yung 9 is to 27. Ang terms niya ay 9 and 27. Greatest common factor is 9. So, divide ulit ang terms by their GCF. 9 divided by 9. And 27 divided by 9. So, ang answer is 1 is to 3, which is yung lowest term. Next, 72 is to 8. Ang terms ay 72 at 8. Greatest common factor ay 8. Divide their terms by their GCF, 72 divided by 8, and 8 divided by 8. Lowest term would be 9 is to 1. Next is 15 is to 9. Ang terms ay 15 at 9. Greatest common factor ay 3. Divide their terms by their, by their GCF, so 15 divided by 3 and 9 divided by 3. So the lowest term would be 5 is to 3. So for our learning task 1, express each ratio of the first quantity to the second quantity and reduce to its simplest form. Write your answers in your notebook. So, para sa ating number 1, we have 2 teachers to 46 pupils. So, if we're gonna write this down as ratio, that would be 2 is to 46. To get the lowest term, we need to find the GCF. So, ang GCF ng 2 at 46 ay 2. So, i-divide lang natin. 2 divided by 2 
equals 1. And 46 divided by 2 equals 23. So, ang lowest term niya ay 1 is to 23. For number 2 naman, we have 21 garbage cans to 14 classrooms. So, to write this in ratio, we have 21 is to 14. Ang GCF ay 7. So, 21 divided by 7 equals 3. And 14 divided by 7 equals 2. So, ang low lowest term natin ay 3 is to 2. For our learning task 2, find the ratios of the time spent for the different activities. Write your answers in your notebook. So, ito yung daily activities ni AJ. AJ's daily activities at yung number of hours na um, ginugugol niya or um, he spent in a day. So, para sa ating number 1, we have sleeping to a whole day. So, ang sleep um, natin na number of hours na itinutulog ni AJ sa isang araw ay 8 hours. At sa isang araw ay meron tayong 24 hours. So, isusulat natin to sa ratio as 8 is to 24. So, 8 hours yung sleep and 24 hours in a day. So, greatest common factor would be 8. So, 8 divided by 8 is 1. And 24 divided by 8 is 3. So, ang ating lowest term ay 1 is to 3. Para naman sa ating number 2, we have studying to the time of recreation. So, for studying, we have 3 hours spent in a day. At yung time for recreation naman, we have 2 hours spent in a day. So, para isulat natin siya as ratio, we have 3 is to 2. So, 3 is to 2 is already our lowest term. Okay? So, for our um, 3, 4, and 5 questions, I want you to answer this in your notebook or leave it in the comments. When we express ratios in words, we use the word true. One of the most common ways to write ratio is through fraction. Learning task 3, write the following ratios to lowest term. Write your answers in your notebook. So, para sa ating number 1, we have 20 wins to 35 games. So, that is 20 is to 35. Ang ating greatest common factor or GCF is um, 5. So, 20 divided by 5 equals 4. And 35 divided by 5 is 7. So, ang ating lowest common, uh, um, ang ating lowest term would be 4 is to 7. Para naman sa ating number 2, we have 12 red balls to 96 blue balls. So, para isulat siya sa ratio, that's 12 is to 96. Ang greatest common factor natin ay 12. So, 12 divided by 12 is 1. And 96 divided by 12 is 8. <music> 